Welcome back, back with another video on the channel. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So today we got IT Isaiah Thompson breaking down a Larry Bird steal, breaking down Larry Bird in general, breaking down um, the Celtics versus Pistons, and I and I'm I feel like it's gonna be a good video because you know I like when players who played themselves within that game can really break it down even more for us to make us have a different outlook opinion on you know that game or that situation. So I'm excited. Let me know. Um, if you all will, if you all enjoy this video, um, if you're watching this video, I thank you for clicking on this video. Hopefully, you will watch it all the way through. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, push your notification bell. That being said, let's get it. Probably, what was heartbreaking about that moment is before I threw the ball away, I had made the game with a shot. Out on the top of the floor against Houston. Sixteen seconds. You know, Bird's gonna get it either on the left side or the right side. You've got to get all over the inbound, man. Don't give him a clear place to look to make the pass. And we got the play figured out. We sent him left. About five of us come over there to try to block the shot. <laughs> no, we're not going to just bypass the fact he said about five of us. Dude, that's the whole team, bro. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> it's blocked. And Seasting hit it off of a Detroit player. No. I never forget everything just started to win in slow motion. Jess Kersey is standing there. I'm looking at him, and we froze. We celebrated. And Jess Kersey starts to count. To Detroit. Bird steals it. Johnson. This is probably one of the most incredible plays probably I've ever witnessed. From an athletic standpoint, two people being in sync. And just bird just playing every second and that's what the celtics taught us i mean but for real though because like isaiah said it was five seconds left on the clock they think they got it oh we about to win this bad boy it's over with bird said game ain't over till it hit zero zero play play not to play 47 and a half minutes mm -hmm. but to play a full 48 but the thing I remember the most, that joker caught the ball, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, he going out of bounds. That dude did this, mm -hmm. like a ballerina, right? And if you go back and you watch the play, that dude is on his toes. The baseline the, the, is right up under his toes. And in my mind, he must have stood there for about five seconds because every, <laughs> everything was going in slow motion in my mind, right? And then, and then it's, it's, it's just a strange moment. I'm like, damn, how are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> and then DJ, out of nowhere, they are so in tune. They are so in sync. You know, Bird hits and he catches the basketball, lay it up. That's crazy. If y'all watched that game live, if you was at that game, you watched it live on TV, what was your thoughts? Was you like, oh, shit, oh, like, he just stole it, he just stole it? Or was you like, or was you mad and was like, bruh, like, what was your thoughts? I feel like as a basketball fan in general, I've been going crazy. Like, because, oh, dang, that's crazy. Like, I just thought, like, Detroit won. Mm -mm -mm. And as I'm walking to the huddle, this is what I see. I'm walking to the huddle. I see DJ do this. I mean, it wasn't no, it wasn't no high five. It wasn't no, it wasn't Isaiah dance. It, it was, it was like, it was a love thing, you know, like they, they, they hug and embrace. And as I come back out of the huddle, right? We, we, we get, we try to take the ball out of bounds or whatever. Larry walks by and he goes, <laughs> wow. Winks at me, right? I'm like, oh. Oh, oh man. You know, had we not come back and won. Dang, poor Isaiah, bro. I bet he I bet he couldn't sleep for days after that. There's no way he could sleep. That's one of those that's one of those games you will remember forever. Like all the way down to the T. Like, especially the wink. I ain't gonna hold you. You might would've got a little pop, pop. Cause like, hey man, you got me messed up. But, <sighs> dang. I, that that would crush me, right? These these at, but you know, it was a learning experience. So, you know that that play, 
you know, Why let me he tell still you how like I got it? over that play. <laughs> after, so after throwing the ball away, right? You know, we, we got a chance to go to NBA Finals. Well, this balcony is rocking and swaying right now. It's supposed to be made of steel. What a play by Larry Bird. He's so like, now brother, we go to I got you. Room. And you know the locker room, y'all y'all had y'all y'all only had two showers that worked for us. And the locker room was about this big. <laughs> now I'm sitting right next to the shower, right? And so everybody and I don't I don't wanna get in, I don't wanna go in because I know I'm getting my ass beat up in there. <laughs> you know? So I'm I'm waiting, you know, I'm trying to be last to be in the shower by myself. So Max, everybody who walks by me. I mean, everybody who walks by me, this is what you hear. Damn. <laughs> and they walk into the shower, right? <laughs> I, I, but was it really his fault, though? Like, was it, can you really put the blame all on him? So you think he rushed the pass and just threw it? Or was the guy really open and then Larry just came full fledged? Like, yeah, we just saw it, but we kind of saw it in flux. Look, I don't know, you know? Because Isaiah, mine, he, he's probably like, I don't know. He might just threw it because he thought, like, okay, we won. Like, it's over with. They're not about to play no defense. But like I said, that back in the day clock went slow as heck. Would that shot have count if it was today's clock? It probably would, but it would have been one of those replays, like, did he get it off in time type of shot. <laughs> oh. I don't get no pat on the back. It's going to be all right. Everybody walk by. He like, said, damn. <laughs> 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 then they go here, right? And then it's like a single foul line, right? I stand there, like Lamb, Lamb was brutal. I mean, brutal. So he walks by and he's like, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> so, so now, now we get on the bus. Now I'm, I'm crushed, I'm really crushed. Now we get on the bus, we get on the plane and John Sally is the first one who taps you on the shoulder to say, hey man, it, it's gonna be all right. And now I'm so pissed, I, I'm taking it out on him. What you mean, man? What you... <laughs> <laughs> but how I got over it, I didn't go to practice the next day. I was so crushed. Because remember, I, I'm i the I'm the most trusted guy on the team. I'm the dependable one. Right? How they, how they have practice the next day? He said that was the game to the finals. When they have been out, like, ain't that your summer break? Like, ain't that your break time? Right. And now this is the biggest moment of my career, everybody else. And I fail. I mean, flat, right? And and so I don't know how to handle it. I'm emba I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. Mm -hmm. Like really embarrassed and ashamed. So I don't want to get up. I don't want to go to practice and laying in the bed and you know, my wife comes in, the phone rings, she says, You know, you know, you got a phone call. I go, No, I I think you should take this call. And I'm like, right. it's Larry Bird. So, hey, this is Bill Russell. Oh, Bill Russell, young man. Wow, wow, right? Wow. Everybody fall off the horse. You need to get up. Get back on the horse. It's gonna be all right. Damn. It's the damn right. I have the, never heard this story. The Celtic, right? Yes. Now, now. Back in back way back when, right? My family, we were always Celtics fans. So I end up right getting out of bed, and you know, now here's the best part of this story. Game six, I walk out on the floor, and you know, oh, uh, okay. He was saying, so basically, did Boston force, um, like they forced the extra game, but if if I if Isaiah and then would have won, they'd have won the championship. Is that what would have happened? As they getting ready to you know throw up the ball, right? DJ walks up to me, taps me. You all right? Oh, yeah, all right. And and we win Game Six. Now we lose Game Seven, but that's how the Celtics internally treated us. Mm. That's why I always feel like you know. When, whenever you hear That's me respect. talk about our journey, I am always saying the Celtics, the Celtics, the Celtics, right? Because everything that that y'all were and that y'all did, not only did y'all beat us, 
but y'all were also great teachers. Mm. You know, wow. we had we learned some hard lessons, mm. but at the same time, y'all were great teachers. Mm. Love it, man. That's dope. That's dope. Didn't even know that. Y'all can let me know if y'all knew that story down below. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know any other videos you like to see me do. That being said, see you guys next video.